I just picked this guy up for 30 bucks. But it's not what you think. It must be a weird time of year. This is the second Facebook ad that I'm responding to for a guitar that I had no intention of buying another one until I saw the ad. I think it's kind of unique. I think it's kind of cool. It's, from what I can tell in the pictures, probably the mid to late 60s vintage. So I'm excited to see it. his history with that guitar is. And we'll just take it from there. I, I logged it in. To my phone? To, to, to which? I accidentally deleted oh, well, the link. Yeah. You don't remember what brand it is or anything like that? That, that I just bought it the way it was. <laughs> and like I said, it worked then and then he, he uh, the gal actually gave him lessons. And there then, uh, thank you. And then, like I said, they moved, so I know it needs to be tuned. It's just been. Oh yeah, up. we'll we'll go through the whole thing, electronics and everything, and yeah. we'll get her back playing again. <laughs> Is that what you do? Um, not necessarily, but when I get a chance to do it, yeah. that I, yeah, I do yeah. like doing it. And something like this is a perfect candidate, so. Cool. Alrighty, well I won't take up any more of your time. No, that's good. Thanks for driving all the yeah. way down. Oh, not I was a problem. surprised when you said that's where you were from. Well, that's a long drive for a guitar. But. The basic summary is, uh, he bought it for his son, and his son didn't ever really pick it up, and so he's just had it for like 30 years. And uh, he's decided to part with it now. So, now it's mine, and Let's dive into it. I know nothing about what it is. It looked like it could be, I believe it's pronounced Tesco. Um, hopefully a vintage, um, basically Japan, Japanese copy. But we'll know more once we get a chance to look at the pots and stuff like that, so. Cool. They've got, like they did their own repairs. There's some unoriginal nuts and bolts. The bridge is kind of, that might even be broke, the bridge adjustment. The string action is pretty high. So there's some truss rod adjustments to be done if it's not broken. All that on top of the fact that it actually doesn't play when I hooked up to my amp. Thank you. 
think I know why no sound is coming out, and that's because that is broke. That's why we'll try soldering that back on. I've got everything back together. I fixed that cap, that broken solder on that cap. Uh, put new strings on, and then I realized that this still actually has, just in my excitement of bringing this thing home, I didn't realize that there's a spring and a whammy bar that's missing. So I put strings on it thinking that I would be able to play it and it really doesn't hold tune very stable without without that spring for the strings to kind of push down against. I also found out that this bridge pickup is not working. I'm not when I was in when I was in there it looked like it was going to work just fine. And so I might have to just be in the search for it's actually, and it's also a single coil. I figured out it looks like a humbucker, but it really is only just a single coil in there. So a very specific, probably somewhat hard to find piece that will have to be replaced. That obviously doesn't stop me from playing it just in the neck pickup. Um, but there's, I might have to just make a part two with this guitar because there's some additional issues that are going to have to be fixed before I move on. The neck isn't quite where I want it to be. There's a couple high frets, so I'm not sure if I can just adjust those frets or if I'm going to end up doing the whole thing and just flattening everything out. Other than that, I think I'd be, I'll get a good chance when all those issues are addressed, I'll get a good chance to play it. But for now, I um, made a lot of progress and I'm happy to see it in the shape that it is. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. Especially if you want to see part two. I think I'm going to do a part two on this. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.